Hi everyone, my name is Charlotte Bunyol, and today I just want to give you a quick little um, tutorial on the new features within the iPhone update. So I'm going to share my screen here so you will be able to see what I see on my phone and we're going to go over some things. All right, here we go. The first thing that I want to talk about is the fact that you have to now click the button on your home screen or on your lock screen rather to unlock your iPhone. That is the most annoying feature in the world. Like Apple, what are you thinking, right? So let's disable that. You're gonna go down here to settings and you're gonna click on general, then go to accessibility and then scroll down until you see home button. And then you're going to enable where it says rest finger to open and that will take care of that problem. Now you can delete different apps such as news, um, tips, stocks, like I don't need stocks, I'm not a stock broker, so now you can delete those apps and free up some space for your phone. Next thing I wanna talk about is the uh, update to the emojis. As you will see, you can now do a running girl, uh, there's, I feel like there's some more, there's a girl with a ponytail, I haven't seen that before. There's quite a few new emojis, so be sure and check that out. Now, if you're accessing your flashlight, now you can control the brightness of it by simply pressing and holding down on the flashlight and you can control the brightness there. The bedtime application and this monitors your sleep. It monitors how many hours of sleep you need a night, um, and it gives you a reminder to go to bed. In order to get that many hours of sleep by the next morning. Um, you can control what sound you wake up to. There's all sorts of nice melodies. I like this one. So you can choose your wake up sound, you can choose the volume. Um, let's say I want to add Wednesday and Friday in there, click done. And bedtime, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So those are the days it's going to remind me, why not Monday? So I can turn that off if I want to, but having it on, if I only need five hours of sleep a night, which, so if you're on the lock screen and you simply, if you want to swipe left, what it's going to pop up is all of these widgets and there's a lot of new stuff within there. But if you swipe the other way, now you have your camera. Instead of having to swipe up like we have had to in the past. All right, digital touch text. So if you click on that arrow there and you click on the heart with the two fingers, you'll notice that you get this black thing. Well, what do I do with this black thing? Well, you can draw on it. You can send those things. You can also click on that and it will tell you tap with one finger, press with one finger, tap with two fingers. So like I can send a kiss. I can hold, click and hold down and it's gonna create a heart and then I can break the heart. <laughs> press and hold down and it's gonna create a fireball. The thing is these automatically send, like you don't have the option to do it and then stop and then send, it automatically sends it. So be aware of that whenever you're playing around with this, play around with it on somebody that, that you don't mind sending some text accidentally to, because I've definitely struggled with figuring that out at first. Another thing you can do within those text messages is say you want to add a photo, and you, then you go click on the photo, and there's a markup spot at the bottom, and now you can, Circle whatever you need to on the photo, point to it, say delete. And so that's pretty cool. I thought that was cool that you could edit photos or mark up photos rather, and then send them. If you click on the arrow again and you click on the app symbol, you will notice that you're able to send different sort of pre-written, pre-handwritten things. If you scroll to the right, you can also now send uh, GIFs and, and different cute little pictures, images, graphics. So if you go to your photos and you can search photos now for like simply cat 
And what it's going to bring up is all of your photos that you have with a cat in them. How freaking cool is that? Um, shoe. Brings up all of my photos with shoes. So this is a really, really neat feature that it has a people album now. And within the people album, it has different people. And when you select on them, it it will show them and all of the pictures of them. So that is really all I have for y'all today as far as the new Apple update. I hope this has been insightful and resourceful for you. If you like this video, be sure and like and share it. All right, y'all have an amazing week and go make the magic happen.